public transportation is huge in the Czech Republic. Uh, you don't really need a car. You can get anywhere you want to, even into other cities. Um, if it's not by bus, it's by a trolley bus, which is, which is a bus with just two little antennae that go up and they catch power lines. Um, if it's not by trolley bus, it's by tram, which is kind of like tracks here in Salt Lake, or basically a small train. Uh, if it's not by tram, Prague has a metro. Um, and if you're going a long ways, you can take buses or trains. Um, and that was a really cool thing um, that you can get anywhere, basically, without a car. Prague is a beautiful city. Um, very old. Um, there's a Prague Castle is about a five minute walk from the mission home. Um, and it has a huge um, cathedral in it. Very beautiful, very old. Beautiful stained glass windows there. Um, being in Prague is like kind of living a fairy tale a little bit because every once in a while you'd realize, wow, I'm in Prague right now. This bridge that I'm walking on was built in the, the 1300s. Um, and I mean, there's just all sorts of um, all just sorts of old buildings, um, old architecture, kind of stuff like that. Um, a lot of it I wasn't even aware of, um, but I mean, the whole of Prague is just a, a big tourist attraction. There's so much there to see. Um, on the main uh, town square, a, a famous attraction is um, it's the astronomical clock. Um, I didn't know how to read it, but every hour it chimes. Um, and then the 12 apostles will come out, um, like figurines that represent the 12 apostles will kind of come out and circle around um, as it's timing. Um, um, some cool things that I, I saw when I was there my last week with my family uh, were some of the museums about communism or uh, about or honoring the army. Um, um, there's this one museum I went to in Prague um, and it was just about I guess inside was about the political history of the Czech Republic. Um, but it was a really cool building in the fact that it, it kind of looked like a place where the Communist Party would go to have a big, um, not a convention, like a big um, rally where they'd go. Um, like there are these big, it was a really big room, maybe 100 feet tall. Um, huge room. There's a big statue of this flying kind of angel lady in it. There are these huge um, tapestries, these red tapestries, like where they'd go and um, kind of have a, a political meeting for the, the communists. Um, but yeah, so the whole of Prague is kind of just that way. In a lot of ways, other than like cobblestone roads and those types of things, there are a lot of things that are similar. Um, you'll see big shopping malls in the big areas and you'll see like schools that look nice, big universities and stuff like that. Um, there are some things that are different. They're more like little shops set up on the side of the street that's different. Um, a lot more bars in places than you'll see, especially than in Utah, but than in like a suburban area in general. Um, and grocery stores are different because you have to bag all your stuff. They don't, nobody bags them for you. And customer service is a little different because it's more like you as the customer need to respect me as the owner of the shop instead of 
I'll do whatever to make the customer happy. Um, but it's it's a cool place. I don't know. There are lots of things that you notice that are different.